Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I filmed a video and since I was getting ready to go out, I thought I'd share with you guys the look that I was gonna go for. Um, this is kind of like a chocolatey Nubian inspired look and I really like it. This is my first time really playing with eye color, so hopefully you guys liked it as well. Um, these lashes they're not so bad like normally I go for the baby wispy lashes but these are just the normal demi wispy ones and they do give me that nice cat eye illusion and I did go a bit crazy on the contour just because my face is very round right now pregnancy problems but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys on my next one bye hey y'all so first I'm starting off with moisturizing my face since I've been really dry this summer then I'm going in with a primer just to kind of help my makeup to, you know, stick and just last all day long. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what primers are for. Then I'm going in with this LA Girl Fawn Concealer just to prime my eyes and kind of mute the colors of them. I just also find it to be a great base, especially since when I do my eyebrows afterwards, I use the same concealer, so it just kind of blends seamlessly. Then I'm going to go in with a translucent powder just to set my eyelid because it does get really oily. So this prevents the colors from smearing and wiping off, I guess. Now I'm just going to go in with this uh, blush, but I just really liked it because of the burgundy reddish color I just thought it would be a nice transition color especially for the look that I was going for then I'm going in with my old trusty faithful blusher I don't remember I think it's an LA colors blusher or something but I just like it because again it's a burgundy color and I really didn't have any idea of what products to use for this look. I just had a look in mind and I just grabbed everything that I thought could help me accomplish it. So yeah, I'm not really a makeup guru. And then I went in with just a random burgundy color that I found in a really old palette that I had. I really need to upgrade and buy higher end palettes, but because I don't do eyeshadows that often, I just never found any reason to do it. Then I'm going to go in with that uh, burgundy color from the Tarte Tease palette. I just use that because it's a darker color, so it just adds more depth to the outside of the eye. And then I'm just going to go in with a clean brush and just blend all the colors out. And I went back in with that Ellie Colors Concealer just so I could have a nice base to put down my darker lid color. And of course, mono lid problems, the concealer got where I didn't want it to be. And this is just a random brown color that I found again in my makeup collection and I thought to use it. Then I went in with that brown color from the Tarte Tease palette just to kind of darken it up a bit. Yeah, my face kind of looks crusty. It, it, I know it's the primer, but it, it still looks really crusty. Disregard that. Then I went in with a random black color just because I really wanted the color of the lid to be intensified so I just thought that the black color would be really nice for that and kind of give it like a smoky effect. Then I did the same thing with the other eye and right now I'm just blending out the dark well the black color and then I'm just going to go in and do these brows. Brows, brows, brows. Anyways, my brows are struggle brows. They're never sisters. They're never cousins. They're never ever related. I just don't know what it is. Even when my brows are done professionally, I still go overboard with the um, 
a brow pencil and stuff. So it is what it is. I've made peace with it. I realize that my brows will never, ever look symmetrical. And it is what is it. It is what it is. <laughs> um, whatever. Like, life's too short to worry about brows. I'm kidding. Brows are everything. But because I can't get mine to look good, I'm just going to roll with the punches, I guess. And so I tried to get them as close as possible and I gave up after a while. But um, basically I'm just going in and adding the burgundy back in places that I kind of lost the color. And now I'm just applying my uh, black opal foundation and hazelnut. And y'all, like the hyperpigmentation is real during this pregnancy. Like my neck and all of my chest has gotten so considerably dark and I just don't know what to do with it besides applying makeup. Now I've went in and put a uh, concealer and uh, what do you call this damn thing? Um, damn it, what the hell is this thing called? Um, highlight and contour, sorry. I just went in and did the highlight and contour, both with LA Girl uh, Cream Concealers. And I'm really trying to get the hang of this highlighting and contouring thing. I never really did it that much, but because my face has gotten so wide and so round, I just, it's my only saving grace. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just walking around looking like a tomato. And I tried to get my face as snatched as possible, but even with as much product as I used, it still was round. And I went in and set it with a translucent powder. This is actually my um, NYC translucent powder, and I've had this for years because honestly, a little bit goes a long way. And I don't bake with it or try to use too much of it just because it does give a bit of a flashback. Then I went in with that same brown color in the Tarte Tease palette just to darken up the contour and set the cream contour. And of course I went a bit heavy handed on one side but I do go back in and diffuse it with my powder brush. But I did darken the other side just because I realized that maybe a bit of a deeper contour isn't so bad. Then I went in and set my face with a um, face powder. I'm choking on it, obviously. And then I went in with this Maybelline Cream Highlighter. I really like this because it does give you a subtle highlight. And if used right, you know, it looks really nice. The only problem is sometimes when you get heavy handed, it gets a bit messy, and so I have to kind of go in and take some and put on other areas of my face, which I don't mind because I naturally highlight my cupid's bone and my nose anyways. But as you can see, it is a really nice subtle cream highlight, especially it's a nice base to apply before your powder highlighters. And then I go in with my Old Faithful Burgundy Blush just because it softens the contour but also adds some warmth to my face since I do have more of a red undertone. I find that the concealers are just too ashy for me. Then I go in with that blusher. Why do I have toothpaste on my brush? And then I basically go in and uh, add some black coal liner to my waterline. And then I smoke that out with a brown powder. Then I go in with a dry highlighter and just put it all over the places that I cream highlighted. 
And now while my edges are setting, I've already applied my lashes and I'm just using a generic brown pencil to line my lips. And then I go in with a more brick red brown liner for the inside of my lips. And I don't know if anybody else runs into this issue of like that inside pink color being exposed. Like there's never any color that adheres to it for me because I guess it's like it's always wet. So it just like eats away at the product, but whatever. So I'm just going in with this uh, Ruby Kisses lip gloss and I'm cleaning the corners of my lips and taking off my head wrap after I laid down my edges. And just adding a bit of that highlighter into my inner tear duct. And that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys want to see anything else. This look came out really good considering I had nothing planned. But until next time, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.